just wondering, your squad there, you've relied heavily on your old franchise, Benetton. Do you think that'll be a good good sign going forward? You know, you know, they know your um, coaching structures and your style of play. Oh, yes and no. I mean, um, you know, the style of play we played in Benetton is probably going to be a little bit different to the style of play we'll play uh, with Italy. But it's good in the fact that, yes, I know a lot of the guys. Um, but it's also not so good in the fact that, you know, I would rather have, uh, you know, you know, uh, an even split between the franchises, which would then mean that, you know, the, there's a lot more com competition between the franchises, you know, um, from that respect. Um, and it might get that way, you know, down the track, we don't know. But, uh, yeah, they, they know me, I know them, um, but that, that wasn't uh, an issue as far as the selection point of view went. You know, the selection point of view was on performance and, um, you know, they were, the, they were the players that were performing as were the ones that have been picked from, uh, from Zebra and overseas. So it's a, it's a performance-based selection and um, we are very comfortable with the fact that, that that fact and the fact that it was uh, a number from uh, Benetton, well, that... Uh, that is a result probably of their results and their performance. And since taking the job, what do you feel is the biggest work on that Italian rugby needs to improve in this upcoming Six Nations? Oh, yeah, we have to get some wins, don't we? That's the biggest thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, you know, you, you look at Italy games, uh, a couple of points I touched on before, you know, contact area is, is still a big one uh, for them. Uh, discipline is still a massive one. Um, so, and... Uh, you know, if we can get those two things and then our, our defence right, well then, you know, hopefully we can build some uh, build some uh, points on the back of that because, you know, I believe you can build an attack off a of defence but you can't build a defence off an attack. You know, you've got to get your defence right first. So, you know, uh, Marius Goosen's got a big job ahead of him and um, particularly when you're playing, you know, the teams of the calibre that we're playing in the Six Nations. You mentioned their defence, but if we look at the attack, you do have some great talent there in Paolo Garbisi. Is he the man to lead Italy forward in the next Six Nations coming up? Well, I think, uh, you know, you look at his performances in the last Six Nations. Yes, he was in that Six Nations. And, you know, I would hope that he's uh, improved from that. And, you know, he, he takes the next step up. He's playing in Montpellier now, who who play a different sort of game than what, uh, what he played when he was at Benetton and what he probably played with Italy last year. You know, uh, his Montpellier team have a massive, massive forward pack and, you know, they, they kick for position a lot, whereas that's a little bit different than, than what he has when he comes to, uh, to the Italian side. Um, so, yes, he is the man to lead us forward at the 10 position um, and he, you know, his challenge will be to adapt his game to the, to the players that we have and the style that we're going to play. I, being captain at Lee, what does that mean to you? I know you were captain in the autumn, but uh, how much are you enjoying that role and taking on the new leadership role? Yeah, obviously, it's uh, first of all a big responsibility for me um, as a captain. Obviously, it's 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 a big role. Uh, first of all, to manage the team, to manage the leadership group, um, and to put everyone in the in the in the best situation to to perform at the best. And then on the other side, obviously, my my personal individual performance is uh, still my my first focus because obviously um, I have to try to put everyone on the on the best on the best thing. But uh, my example is uh, is the main focus for me. It's it's even the main influence I can give to all the other players. So um, everything is. There has to be a, a good balance between, uh, yeah, spending energies for managing the team and for managing the leadership group, but then uh, taking taking care first of all of uh, your own uh, uh, performance on training and then on on the field as well. Yeah, and have you been in touch with Sergio Prese? Has you has he given you any tips or advice going about your captaincy role? <laughs> well, um, I haven't I haven't spoke to him yet. But uh, obviously, I I hope he can join us and uh, be with us because obviously he could give me first of all, but then the whole group a hand on uh, uh, on and off the field. Thank you, sir.